sequential transformative design so sequential transformative design it is becoming more and more common when we see psychology getting into each of the field no matter you are from management sciences or from education or you are from a policy study or you are my major is policy study but now when i see in when i look into the the, the recent literature in uh, policy there are more influenced by the psychology because the human needs are more and more getting evident uh, than the the robotic cultures that we have been following in many of the fields so the transformative design is basically has two distinct data collection phases a theoretical pers perspective is used to guide the study and the purpose is to use methods that will best serve the theoretical perspective of the researcher right as i said that no matter which field you are the psychological perspective of the domain is becoming more and more evident so you need to have the theoretical underpinning to design and then to guide something specific into a direction purpose of this design is to address issue of social justice and call for change for under unrepresented represented it or marginalized populations the designs more relates to the content than to the methodology this point is very important to understand because if your purpose is only empirical data you know collecting empirical data and drawing upon the result then you might follow the other two sequential designs right but if you are thinking about more theoretical and philosophical perspective into some phenomena then you have to choose this design and it's beyond the basic mix method so the other two were basic mix method design and you would see uh, by the way you would see very uh, a lot of research published in the other two the explanatory and exploratory sequential mix method design but the transformation design is still not uh, very evident so right here this is the sequential transformative design so you put a theory into it you do qual which is leading to quan or you do a quan that is so it this is not basically it won't end at one if you look into this design you see qual building or leading into qual and then its interpretation but when you are doing the sequential transformative design you actually start it from a qual right and then quan and then that quan data would again take you to the qual and this qual by this qual we we think this qual and this qual both of them is the, the the theoretical lenses right so these are your theoretical lenses and in the middle comes your quantitative part where you can use a survey or you can use you know you can use any sort of tool that you want to use but for the qual and qual part it's your world view that you are looking into it so here your theoretical framework rather in these studies the analytical framework is more important than theoretical because theory is already there but you have to draw the points uh, for the for the analytical point of view